focus of our research was on a condition called age-related macular degeneration, or AMD for short. AMD can present in two forms. One is called dry AMD, and the other is called wet AMD. It affects about one in 10 people over the age of 55 in Ireland, so it's a very, very common form of blindness, and people will lose their central retinal vision. In wet AMD, where blood vessels grow or begin to grow underneath the retina, they can actually hemorrhage, and people can lose their sight almost immediately. So they lose their central vision, they find it very, very difficult to see faces or read. Current therapies for wet AMD include the direct injection into the eye of molecules that prevent the function of a, of a protein called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF for short. And this is a very effective therapy for the end stage of wet AMD. It stops the blood vessels from being very, very leaky. But ultimately, it's not, a, it's not a, a, a cure for the condition. Patients need to go back on a regular basis for these regular intraocular injections, or injections directly into the eye. So back in 2012, our lab here in Trinity discovered that a molecule termed interleukin-18, which is actually a part of your immune system, was preventative, it could actually prevent the onset and the blood vessel formation that's associated with wet AMD. And in 2012, this threw out the idea that IL-18 or interleukin-18 could be used as a therapeutic for wet AMD. Around the same time, we discovered that GlaxoSmithKline, the pharmaceutical company, were developing IL-18 as a therapeutic for a range of cancers. They had already tested it in human subjects and they'd found that it was a very, very safe molecule to use when it was injected into a vein. So back in June 2012, we contacted GSK and asked if we could obtain IL-18 to put it through a range of assays or experiments in our lab, both in, in vitro, in cellular systems, and also in preclinical models, to test whether, one, it was safe for AMD use, and two, whether or not it would actually prevent wet AMD from occurring. Because we need more therapies. We need additive therapies. The current therapies are for end-stage treatment of wet AMD. Now, they work, and they work well, but we can do better. And we feel that IL-18 could actually serve this function. So we had discovered that IL-18 was an anti-angiogenic factor. This meant that it was able to block blood vessel growth through the back of the eye um, and potentially could act as a therapeutic for wet AMD. Um, IL-18 is actually a pro-inflammatory um, immune modulator and so intuitively you mightn't think that you could use IL-18 um, as a potential therapeutic um, in wet AMD. But uh, we put IL-18 through a series of um, both in vitro and preclinical um, uh, studies to just investigate whether it was um, safe. As the mature form of IL-18 added onto these cells did not have any cytotoxic effects uh, and we were very encouraged by the fact that GSK had um, already administered IL-18 systemically um, into a number of patients, we decided to further investigate the potential therapeutic use of IL-18 um, in the prevention of wet AMD. So while these results are very exciting for as a potential therapy for wet AMD, it's still very, very early days yet. Um, what buoys us is that it's a very, very safe drug. We've shown that it's very safe to be used in cells of the retina, but it's also been shown previously in clinical trials tested on patients that it's a very, very safe molecule and that any adverse events are very, very transient and they resolve very easily. So this gives us a lot of hope and a lot of excitement that this could potentially be used as a future therapy.